Jumo days, we are going into the Chinese New Year, Water Rabbit Year. So, uh, some time back I mentioned about richness of culture. Um, you know, we practice a lot of cultural things, especially me, uh, because uh, I don't know, it's just that I feel it's time to be um, really thankful and understand what the years have bring to me. I'm not sure what culture practices you have, but for us, actually, on the eve of Chinese New Year, the reunion dinner is very important because that is when all the children or um, anyone in your family tree will come home for a reunion dinner or lunch. But due to the um, busy schedule in this modern world, <clears throat> a lot of time, most of the reunion are celebrated outside the home, in the restaurant. But for me, I feel that a home is where everybody should gather. So even if you have reunion, it is only right that you go home to your home base, where your parents are, and really talk, you know, discuss, talk, uh, happy things, unhappy things, there is always solution. But will you do it? Uh, will you talk? Will you share your experiences with your family? If you do not do that, what could be your reason? Okay? But mine is a very small family, so um, what I did is I do it one day earlier, which means today I will give um, I will prepare a meal for the ancestor uh, in thankfulness for whatever we have uh, because tomorrow is the eve of Chinese New Year where I will be very busy so I don't want to cram everything into uh, tomorrow uh, and then single-handedly handle everything so what is cultural things that have been done from my understanding is uh, I didn't go to school of culture, I just learned you know like monkey see monkey do <laughs> I'm not a monkey but since they come up with this proverb it must mean something uh, what I do is I must have uh, chicken um, one kind of meat uh, fish and also uh, inside chong uh, fruits tea and rice everything i uh, this year i ordered some i cooked some i ordered so what are the meaning of this from my knowledge and when i reflect back is because years back there is no fridge you know i, I mean not the fridge like what we have uh, so you cannot really keep food and it's also difficult to buy food it's not like now you can go out 24 hours you can get anything under the sun so what they do is they prepare the meal after the prayer and they have a meal together to uh, have everybody united under one roof so what is the fish for fish is meaning yang yi uh, in in Chinese, it's Ninyawi, meaning that uh, every year or so, you are with abundance. Uh, chicken, I, I don't really know. Chicken and meat, I don't really know. Because due to scarcity of the yesteryears, uh, those are luxury items. Uh, here, we are, especially in Malaysia, we actually have abundance if you really look at it because if you want to have chicken, you can have chicken anytime you want to have meat, anytime you have meat actually anything you want is already there if you think that you do not have enough money to buy one chicken or buy uh, a piece of meat or even uh, what do you call that, uh, fish you can always go to the mama store or you can go to the sapan store and uh, you stall and you can just do that fun you still have it so it's not what you have it's what you appreciate 
Therefore, don't compare yourself with others because everybody's income group is different. But you need to compare with yourself. What is the value you want whenever you prepare anything? Is it something that will benefit everyone, including yourself, especially yourself first? So, the cultural thing is to, for me, uh, for me, uh, I'm talking from my own context. For me, it is actually to remind us through the hard work how much you have actually reward yourself. Because from your, your beginning until now, what have you achieved? If you think you have not achieved anything, then really you must work at it. Nothing falls from the sky. If everything can fall from the sky with the numbers of days and the prayers that I've done, I will just need to sit here and wait for the money to rain on me. But no, I have to work harder like anybody else. Even thinking of what to do is a task. So, I will share other cultural things that I know. And if you know more than me, please share because I have to learn more about different kind of culture. What, what, why you practice, uh, why you practice things that you do, you know. How do you minimize wastage while you are practicing it? So, until then, I will wish everyone Gong Fa Chua. Bye.